Hi guys, welcome to my first video on my YouTube channel. My name is Natalia, and today, as you could tell, we're going to talk about my iPhone 12 Pro Max case collection that I have. Um, I have a ton of cases for you guys, so this video might be a little long. It depends if I'm going to do a part two or not. But yeah. Um, so this is where my cases are all in. I made this during quarantine. So yeah. And then... Uh, Let's just get right into the video now. So this is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I have it in silver. Super pretty. I just love this silver. This color is just pretty. I love it. Like I can't even. Um, the first case I'm going to show you is one off of Amazon. I have a Border Collie named Teddy. So that's why I got um, a case with a Border Collie on it. And it is a two part case this is kind of like a thicker like plasticky material and then this is like a thick like silicone-y material but it's not like super bendy but it's thick I don't know if that makes any sense but so yeah this case was probably around like $17 um, but it does do its job it is pretty protective around the camera lens does go over and then um it does have a high raised lip as well to protect your screen and this is what it looks like on the phone the buttons are fairly easy to press so but yeah i love this case i always wear it with my black outfits that i have so yeah i'm the type of person that matches um cases with my outfits and that's why I have like a ton of cases. I've got a I've got a issue with getting tons of cases, but it's okay. So the next ones I'm gonna talk to you about is the silicone ones that I have. Um this one is from Apple. It has the MagSafe and then it's fuzzy on the inside and silicone on the outside. Um it does this like really cool oh it didn't do it oh no it did it does like that really cool like circle little thing um but yeah so it does protect your camera it has like that rised edge and then it does protect your screen as well so yeah that's what it looks like buttons are pretty easy um this case was around maybe 40 to 50 dollars but the other cases are a lot cheaper, honestly. So, seriously, like, honestly. Um, these two were from Amazon. Uh, they were around... They are around, like, 9 to $15. Um, it just depends on what company you got it from. These two were both $12. Um, so, yeah. This one is, like, a mint green thought this was really pretty with like the white iPhone or silver iPhone. It does protect your camera lens and it does protect your screen. So yeah. Buttons are pretty easy as well. Super nice and you know easy. And then the other one is literally just the same except a different color which is like a blue. It's supposed to be blue but sometimes it I don't know, it just kind of looks purplish sometimes, but... So, yeah, that's what this one looks like. So, yeah. Alright. Um. The next two cases is the ones that I got from the mall that I go to. So. It's these two cases. This one's just so pretty. Um, I put a pop socket on it from Target. And this one's just like the Border Collie case, pretty much, honestly. So, literally almost the same thing. Super hard, like silicone. And then this is kind of like a, a the same type of plastic from just like the other case. So, yeah. So 
so this is what it looks like it's so gorgeous I love it and the fact that I was able to find like a pop socket to match it was amazing so yeah ignore like my hands I work at a daycare so I'm always constantly washing my hands because of the virus and whatnot so yeah my hands are really chapped and so yeah, I apologize but yeah so it does protect the lens and it does protect the um, screen. Um, this case was around, let's see, I think it was like 27 or $37. And then the buttons are kind of harder. I don't know. But it's not like bad. It's just, you know, you just have to kind of do some force on it. So yeah, the other case from the mall is a three part case. Um, I got it for the same price as the other one, around $27 to $37. So, yeah. so what you first do is you put the case in this little rubbery thing. Put this on it. If I can get it in. There you go. And then you snap it on like this. So yeah, just like this, it's red. I like this red because it's like super shiny and it's super protective. This stuff right here kind of helps with like the grip of the phone, you know, you put your hands there and it just helps with the grip. Super protective around the camera and it's very protective around the screen, so. Yeah, buttons are super, super easy. Just because it's that rubber that you're actually pressing on. It's not like this case. It's like the rubber part. So it's super easy, super nice. Um, I did find... If I can get this off. Um, the company that actually makes this case. It is on the inside of this case it is called my bat it's right here um so yeah it is called my bat and their case they have multiple different types of cases i wanted to buy one of them um that's like marble and it's super super pretty but i haven't gotten the time to uh do that yet but yeah, I, I'm going to be ordering some more from that company. But I don't know if you can kind of tell, but I kind of ruined the case. You see, like, those, like, circles? I have a, a UV sanitation light that I use. And, um, sadly, this, um, the sanitation light kind of ruined it. But, I mean, you can't really notice unless it looks super hard. But yeah, some cases, if you do have a sanitation um, UV light or whatever, um, I would be very, very careful on what cases you put in there because this could happen. Um, I didn't use the sanitation UV light on these just because they were, I don't know, I just don't trust it after what this did to it. So I haven't done these yet, so I don't know what happens. So I would not... Just don't. Just don't with these. But I did the sanitation UV light on these cases and nothing happened to them. They're perfectly fine. And I did the rest of these cases that are in here. I did the sanitation UV light with, you know, on the phone and whatnot. And they did not get ruined. It was just this, this red one that sadly did get ruined. But, you know, you learn from mistakes. So I won't be doing that again. All right. And so the next one is a charging one from Luxie Lemon. Uh, the power button's right here. I don't know, you can see like the light. Um, right here, that's like how you know it's charge, charged. And that's how you turn it on as well if you want to charge it. You can use this as an iPhone case as well if you want to. Um, I myself have not um, used this case yet. Um, I'll probably use it when I go up to my cabin or something, when the road, 
I mean, there's like a long road trip that I have to do. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to slide this in either because it's super hard to get out as well. So, um, so what you do is you just slide it in like I said. And then this is kind of what it looks like on the phone. Um, it is pretty protective. This is like around the rim it's protective and around the edges it is protective. It kind of like hugs the phone in a way. But the only thing that's kind of sad about it is that it doesn't protect the top. And that's something that I kind of worry about just because I, I like to have my phone cases like protective all around. So, but yeah, I think this was like maybe around 40 or $50, I believe. I'm not sure, but pretty good case. I like the quality, super hard battery case. It's amazing. So, all right. So the next cases that I have are clear, um, but they do have like some designs and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, all right, I'll do the spec case first. So, I have this spec case. Super nice. I really like this case. Um, it might be hard to get out. We'll see. But um, this was, like, I think $50, 40 to $50, I believe. Um, it does protect your camera, and it does protect your, um, what's it called? Um, screen. Um, the buttons... <laughs> Are really hard I'm trying to turn this thing off and it's just really hard sometimes but um but yeah I really like it it feels so nice in your hands it doesn't really slip because this is I don't know how to describe it but it's kind of sticky material not sticky material but like you know it's just easy to grip super nice so yeah but the only down part is that the buttons are so hard to just press so um yeah and I at first had like a lot of trouble getting this case on and off but like once you do it a few times it kind of gets looser not like loose loose but you know what I mean it just gets easier to do it so yeah and the next one is a power king case that I got off of casemate it is a two piece this is sparkly put your phone in like this and you put your this top part on like this and I'm not gonna like put it on all the way just because it can be really difficult to um, take off so yeah it does protect your camera lens and it does protect a lot it protects the screen a lot like it's crazy um, so if you do like um, bulky cases that are very very protective and if you drop your phone a lot this would be the case for you. Um, one thing I did not like about this is that it kind of made it look gray-ish in a way. It's like a, a dark white, like gray iPhone case, but it's, it's fine. It has the flaps here and here. So yeah, but yeah. That is that case. The next case is out of box this is an out of box case sparkly I got another sparkly one just because the other one was kind of thick and um yeah I like this because it's actually clear clear and it's not like that gray so um so this might be actually kind of um, actually I'm not gonna put this on all the way just because it's um kind of hard to put on and take off and I'm still kind of getting used to it because it's new so um but yeah I really like this case this is what it looks like on it kind of in a way kind of makes it look a little grayish I don't know but it's better it's like a better in person it looks a lot better trust me um but yeah it does protect the um camera and it does protect the uh screen as well the buttons are fairly easy honestly so that's really nice too um this case was around i have to say uh i think it was 50 dollars. no 40 or 50 dollars i don't know if i said what this case was but it was around the um the same price so yeah Pelican and out of box. Well, maybe I'm just tripping. 
No, this this seems a little more clear. I'm kind of looking. I'm so weird. Never mind. Just don't mind me. Um, the next one is a case made case. I got this at Target. Um, but they do have their own website or whatever. So this is. It looks so pretty. I love this case. It is gorgeous. So gorgeous. Um, it does protect the camera, and it does protect the uh, screen as well uh, buttons are pretty easy too which is super nice you can see it's just whoop, whoop, super easy so um this case man I'm, I'm like probably getting all these like pricings wrong but I'm kind of estimating so um I think this might have been 40 40 45 50 dollars I I buy expensive cases, guys. So, but <laughs> I learned the hard way with my old phone, so. Yeah. Uh, this is a case to five case. I got it with a rose, a white rose. This was actually my first case that I got. Um, yeah. So, this is what it looks like. It does protect the uh, camera, and it does a really nice job protecting the uh the screen as well uh, buttons are super easy I think this might have been 50 to 60 dollars their uh, prices actually range by protectiveness with the phone cases so it just depends on if you get one that's like super protective this is I think this is kind of like the normal case I guess so and they have tons of options on there and I'm thinking about ordering more from them but yeah love this case so if I can get it off all right okay so one, two, we have four more cases to go guys so just bear with me um this case is a uh Kate Spade case this one is um kind of like it is still actually really protective. It does protect the camera and it does protect the screen. And it has, like, the buttons are really good as well. Super easy. Um, one thing I don't like about it is this. I don't really wear it much just because of this reason. It does not have protection right here, but it has protection everywhere else. Um, so, yeah, this, I think, was, like, $40, I believe. Um... So yeah, I don't know. I think I got like some, I don't know how, but it just got a little of a bit, a bit of a, like a pink tint to it. But yeah, it's not bad. It's only if you really look at it, but I mean, yeah, I really like this case. So super pretty and it's slim fit. I mean, if you like a slim phone case, this is honestly like the best option I would say and it's only my opinion but yeah very slim love it so okay now this is a, a Sonics case that I have let me just put it up super easy to put on and the buttons are just so easy like you barely even need to press on it. Like, it's just so easy. It's amazing. Just so easy, so responsive. I love it. Um, it does protect the border, uh, like, the screen. The border is protective. And then it does protect your camera. And I love this. This reminds me of, like, Arizona or somewhere tropical, you know. I live in Minnesota, so it's, like, negative like 10 below out right now so you know it's pretty great but yeah um yeah it's super pretty protective i'm i feel like i'm just butchering like all of these um you know prices but i feel like this is like 40 dollars i believe so i love their cases i want to get more got i'm really addicted to cases guys so um, this is a case that I, um, won, um, but yeah, on, like, an iPhone giveaway or whatever, 
Um, so I was like super excited. This is the first like giveaway I've ever won in my life. So, but yeah, it's um it's really soft silicone ish. Um, it's not really uh that protective, but you know, super cute. It has my name on it. Super happy with it. I put this on just at home, honestly, on carpet, not on hard floor, just in case if you drop it, just don't, because this will shatter, shatter your phone. I had a case like this with my iPhone SX Max, and the one time I drop it, and the one time I wear just like a flimsy case, and I went on a, on a walk with my dog, and of course my dog decides to run, and I just, whoop, flew out of my hands, the back cracked and whatnot, so... Yeah, I learned from that, and that's why I, I have expensive cases, just because I'm like, that's not happening again. Alright, so the technically the last case is um, this case from Five Below, so it was like $5, so it wasn't bad at all, so yeah, it's like, I love this feeling. It's not silicone-y, but it is at the same time. But yeah, it does not protect the lens at all. You could just see it just popping. It's popping out. But it does protect this. Ooh, oops. It does protect the screen. So yeah. Cool. Alright, so. Um, so yeah, this was $5 if I didn't see that already. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all my cases. Like. So I have Sandmark cases because I have like lenses you can attach to your phone, the macro lens and the telephoto lens. And you screw these lenses onto here. I mean, you do get like a clippy thing that you can clip on, but this is a lot easier. Um, so yeah, these are the cases. I'm not going to put it on my phone, but if you want me to make like a, another video on Sandmark, please let me know. I love super hard case soft you just screw the camera on so yeah that is pretty much it um so yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching my video if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and i'll answer them or if you have any ideas for any um other youtube videos i basically just want to stick to like um iphone like case stuff or whatever but um if you have any fun ideas please please let me know so yeah um thanks again for watching and i really do hope you enjoyed this video i'm not gonna make a part two <laughs> just because we did get through all the cases in less than 25 minutes so that's a plus so thanks again guys bye